Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mod Showcase, where today I will be showing uh, off the Craftable Animals mod. So this mod lets you um, craft uh, your everyday animals such as sheep, and also lets you craft mobs and other mobs that you don't uh, normally find um, in Minecraft such as giants and well you don't use that you can't really spawn them without mods um yeah um so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the uh, animal bow uh, to craft this you simply put a bow um anywhere in the crafting table along with another animal um, but before I sh and yeah and it gives you that but before I show you um, uh, before I show you how it works and stuff um, I'm gonna show you um, how you get the animals so I'm just change it today I don't want to do it in the dark so let's just use a cow for example um you just go up to whatever animal or mob you want to um spawn in and stuff and why isn't this working hello excuse me what's happening am i frozen Horses aren't moving, nor are the chickens. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Um. Awkward. Um. Hang on, let me just pause it a second. Just gonna pause right. Okay, I'm back. Um. Some runs went on there. I uh, don't know what that was all about, but, um. Yep, here's all our animals. Uh, cows, many many animals. Um, so what you need to do is you just kill the animal as normal, and oh, here we go, second try. Uh, it should give you, it should drop itself basically. Uh, it just looked like itself in smaller form. Um, I'm just getting rid of all this. Yeah, yeah. Go away. No, what's happening? Get out of my inventory. Okay. So these work just like normal spawners, but egg spawners spawn eggs. I uh, just click the ground and they spawn. Um, I should put that back in the chest. Oh well. Um, forward, walk forward. There we go. Um, so yeah, uh, any works with any mob. Um, but it has a 10% chance of spawning. I just got lucky there with it spawning in on the second try. Um, but uh, I did test it out earlier and took quite a few um, took quite a few kills to get the thing. So it just depends. Sometimes it drops it quick. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So now on to the animal bow. So. Uh, I'll just get some of this here. Okay, so um, to use the animal bow, instead of arrows, you use the animal things. I just showed you these. Um, I'm just using these because I like cats and cyan sheep. You know, name and everything. Um, so the animals are your ammo, and then you've got the bow, obviously. So just pull back like you would a normal bow same control same everything and use fire and instead of uh, hitting something with an arrow you spawn in the animal of your choice um, and the animals only stack up to 16 every single one always 16 uh, like snowballs and eggs and stuff um, yeah um, I'll show you how to do the sheep and all that in a second. Um, I'll just put this away. No, I won't. Let's just have some fun spawning in a load of sheep. Sheep, 
Sheep everywhere, sign sheep everywhere. Woo! Also, if you shoot if you shoot an animal, oh okay, maybe not. Um let me try. No. And I just killed an animal trying to spawn in another one. <laughs> okay. Um I think these are pretty powerful then if that killed it that um, one shot unless that does it anyway. Okay, so I'll just put these away. Okay, so moving on, um, I will show you how to make a spawner. So, uh, what you need to do is you need iron bars. You you need eight iron bars. Uh, you do all around the crafting table apart from the middle, and it will give you an empty spawner. So then, with the empty spawner, uh, you place it down. Let me just get these out. You place the empty spawner down in your chosen position, p position, um, and you can only mine it back with an iron or a diamond pickaxe. Um, and then you click it with the animal, with your chosen animal, and it becomes that spawner. Um, a, um, also, you cannot break it after this; it doesn't give it you back. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, and you can also change it by right clicking with another animal of your choice. Um, but and you can also do this with natural spawning spawners. So if you found a spawner, you could get your animal like so say if you wanted to make a mob grinder, um you and you wanted its skeleton and it was zombie, then you'd kill a skeleton and get the uh, little skeleton thing in your inventory um, and then you'd right click the zombie spawner with the skeleton spawner and then it becomes the skeleton spawner and you could do your thing with the thing I'm just gonna get rid of this because we don't want a million cows everywhere because we've already got a million go away there we go <laughs> okay so and then the last thing oh not the last thing the last meh, the last thing in this Area, area here is the ender crystal. Um, you know when you go to the end and there's the um, things that you have to shoot on top of the plat and not platforms towers. Um, it's that basically, um, and it's quite expensive. Okay, maybe not that expensive. Um, but you need two glass, flint and steel, two eyes of ender, and for obsidian. Okay, it's quite expensive because you have to get blaze rods for the eyes and all that. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool when you place it. I'm not going to go into all that because I'm running low on time. Um, let me just put this in the chest. Oh my god, holy lag. Okay, it's not that laggy, it's not that bad, but still slowing me down. Okay, so is this. Number four. Okay, so some of the recipes we have. Uh, you. This allows you to make um more jockeys. You can make jockeys like skeleton jockeys, and then you can have um pigmen jockeys, creeper jockeys. Uh, and then you can have you can have and skeleton and no not skeleton and zombie jockeys. Um. And you can also have, instead of a spider, you can have a cave spider. Um, and then, to get an ocelot, you need a raw pork chop and a piece of wool. White wool, it has to be white, and it gives you an untamed ocelot. But then, if you want a specific colour ocelot tamed, or you can't be bothered to tame yourself anyway, because it's a bit difficult, uh, you get one raw fish, you need the ocelot, and then... Um, black for the black and white one, um, one black and one white for the, uh, whitey coloured one, Siamese one I think it is, um, and an orange one for the ginger one, um, and, yeah, same applies with the fish and the ocelot, and it should give you that, and, um, you spawn it in, and it's already tamed for you, um, and then, this one is quite interesting. Uh, 
I think it works for skeletons as well, pretty sure. Um, you get the skeleton or the zombie, you put it in the middle of the crafting table, and then say if you wanted it wearing um, the diamond chest plate, you'd put the diamond chest plate in this. Say if this was a crafting table, you'd put it there. Then if you wanted the pumpkin, you'd put it in the head place. If you wanted an axe, you'd put it at the front bit. And then whatever boots you wanted at the bottom, and it would give you something that looked a little like this. Uh, it would tell you um, what what it has. Uh, if you can see there, it's wearing a pumpkin as a helmet, diamond chest plate, gold no pants, golden boots, and holding an iron pickaxe. Okay, why does that say pickaxe when it's an axe? Okay. Um, I'm just going to show you what that looks like. I've got it in peaceful because it usually lags a little bit more when it's in any other one. So there you have your specially made zombie. Um, these boots there. Um, okay. Um, so pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to... Oops. Wrong one. Uh, just going to switch it back to... Go, go to my inventory. Switch it back to peaceful. There we go. Okay, and then is that the one I just yeah. Okay, now we've got uh sheep, so uh whatever kind of sheep you want, surround a pork shop with that colour wool. And then, um, if you, that's, yeah, and then if you want to dye the sheep, you just put the colour sheep you already have and then the dye underneath and it gives you that. Same here, any colour sheep with the, with the wool, uh, with the dye you want and it gives you that sheep. Um, to shear, to have a sheared sheep, you just put the sheep in the crafting table and it gives you a sheared one. Um, and then over here any night again um uh to make the minimizer um which allows you to make uh your animal baby or adult uh you need three pig two sheep and one cow uh in like this in a crafting table and it will give you the minimizer um and then you can also uh if you don't want to do that they like go into all the click in and all that can't be bothered um you get one dirt and then the animal you want or in my case zombie um or villager baby villager uh you put them in the crafting table and it will give you two of that baby animal um and then final okay one of the final things uh is we've got an animal display case um not sure what it is, but it looks pretty awesomely weird. Uh, I don't know. Um, you surround any animal with or mob uh, with glass, glass blocks, not panes. Um, and then finally, in here we've got slimes. Um, so to make a tiny slime, the little baby ones, uh, you kill a baby slime, and it'll give you. Um, those, or you can um, get slime balls and put them. You need eight of them. Put them around the middle of the crafting table. Nothing in the middle, uh, and it will give you four of those. And then you put them in the crafting table four, and it gives you a. a wait, they're tiny ones. There's a small one. I think the small ones and these ones are added in. These ones, um, and then uh, we have the small slime. Oops. We have the small slime, and um, four of them make a big slime. Four of the big slimes make a huge slime, and four of the huge slimes make a giant slime, which is also added in. Um, okay, so there's all sorts of other mobs, um, and um, huge thanks to Grace for the idea of the mod. And thank you guys very much for watching, and until the next mod showcase, I'll see you guys 
or guys in another video.